One of the ways to insert a layer on a video is to use a watermark layer, and that is a layer that will run across the whole video, if you like. Uh, I'm creating a series of videos and, and products right now, and I'm going to be posting some videos online, and I don't want them to be downloadable and usable unless people buy them. So I'm going to insert a logo um, uh, across the, the image. I can either use a logo or a text. In this case, I could use, let's say, Verdana. Actually, I wouldn't use Verdana for a watermark because it's a little too light. So I would probably go down and choose something like, a, you know, a fat, heavy typeface like uh, Impact. See Daisy. All right. Um. All right, if I say impact and I say sample, I, I would be able to insert that text. I'd be able to size it up. I'd probably make it pretty big. Um, uh, as a watermark, I like to do something like this. And I would say, let's say sample. Uh, the neat thing about this explain to your watermark maker is that you can adjust the opacity. So, uh, you know, you've probably seen this many, many times. You've seen a watermark, uh, but it, it doesn't uh, take over the, the video. So you want it to be somewhat translucent and you can adjust the opacity here and, uh, and change that. You could also change the color if you want. So you, if I wanted to make that red and I wanted the opacity to be around, I don't know, let's say 40%, I would be able to take this, I could put, you know, the word sample a couple more places if I wanted, and then I would export that. That's one way of doing it. I'm going to delete the text though, because on the particular videos I have, what I want to do is I want to load an image. I want to load the watermark for the site where I'm selling that. And so what I have is a, uh, a site called The Video Shop. So what I have here is a, a um, logo for my website, and I can take the uh, handles here and probably put that right in the center. I will definitely, you know, play with the opacity there because I don't want that to take over the video. But I would want people not to be download not to be downloading the video. So I would probably make the opacity about about thirty percent. And I will save that as a watermark in my watermarks. It saves right to your watermarks folder. And I will call that the video shop there, just like that. All right. So here's a couple, here are a couple of things about creating a watermark for Explain to you. All right, so the width and height are 1920 by 1080. Here I am creating a watermark for a high definition video. You can really use Explain to your uh, watermark maker to create any kind of transparent image that you want in whatever size you want because this is adjustable over here. So you don't have to just use it for Explain to you. If you take a look at these checked boxes, uh, those are boxes that indicate a transparent background. So any image and text that you put on this background are put on a transparent background and you can use them anywhere. So I will save this as a watermark. It saves right to the watermark folder, to my watermark folder. I have a special folder I created for that. And there we go. Here I am back and explain to you. Now I have just created a video from a project I created, a real estate project about expired listings. I've already created the project for sale. The video is, will, be, will be available for sale. But I want to display the video with a watermark. So I've, again, I've already created it once as a video. I'm going to hit the watermark there and I'm going to add the watermark from my watermarks folder. All right and put that right there and again start my export i have a new folder here called watermarked videos where i am creating project files 
for uh, for sale and that will create the uh, the video with the watermark so we'll come back when that's finished and I'll show you what that looks like all right, the export is complete. We'll open the video folder and see how that looks like. I'm, cur I'm curious how it looks with, um, with that video shop. There we go. All right, so we've got the, uh, we have the watermark right here. I think we're fine. Great, cool.